I'm originally from San Diego, and uh, I moved to Philadelphia about five months ago, and to answer your questions, uh, I was laid off, and I wanted some change, and yes, I know what the winter is like. So um, I was looking for a place to stay, so I look on Craigslist and find some random guy, and uh, he's a really nice guy, I find some cheap two-bedroom place in Mania, which is really great for someone who's unemployed and doesn't have any, uh, actually, sorry, unemployed and loves beer. So um, uh, I moved to this place, and the guy's really nice, he's, he's an actor from Southern California, um, and if you're from Southern California, you know that means he's a waiter. Um, so he's a really nice guy. He's, he's funny. He's uh, he's relaxed. He's he's really relaxed. And um, just a little bit of background. One of the first uh, kind of interactions I had with him, I went grocery shopping. And I come back and I I deliver the bags uh, into the grocery uh, in the kitchen. And and he goes, uh, I hear this. Hey, Adrian, what's up, brother? And I go, uh, not much, but not, uh, not much, uh, <laughs> how's it going? And he goes, uh, good, just so you know, I'm naked. <laughs> and, you know, it's not a really big deal uh, if he had a towel to wrap around himself, but the fact that he warned me, I assumed he didn't, so I walked up to uh, my room and uh, I heard him go into his room and I assumed he changed. I don't spend too much time sitting in the living room anymore. Um, so, uh, he's really into natural stuff and kind of holistic medicine and, 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 uh, and organic. And he doesn't like to use chemicals like 409 to clean anything, but when the, when the drain in the bathroom was clogged, instead of cleaning his hair out, he went and got this really toxic stuff from, uh, from the store, and, uh, we had to pour it down and actually not go into the bathroom for an entire day. Um, so, when that didn't work, I walk, I walk in, and, and I put on those those long rubber gloves, and I, and I pull out that, uh, I pull out the plug, and there is this long, slimy, eight-inch ponytail of all his hair. Uh, so I clear that out, and the dream works fine now. Um, so, so the first week I'm there, I, I go and I, I, I go to cook, and I, I turn on the gas stove, and I hear the clicking of the starter, but the gas never turns on, and. I'm confused, so I call him and I say, hey, is there something weird with the stove? It's an old run-down place. And he goes, yes, there's, there's, a, there's this really special thing you have to do for it. I'll show you when I get home. I'm 26, but I've worked a couple stoves, so I assume I know what to do. Um, he, I don't know, maybe you have to be naked to, sorry. Um, so he, I go up and take a shower later on, and, and I've, I've soaked up, and, and I'm completely frothy, and, and the water goes ice cold. And I'm sitting there waiting for a minute, like, oh, someone flushed the toilet, or that's actually the opposite. Um, I'm sitting there, and uh, it doesn't go on, and I say, shit, he didn't pay the gas. So he comes home, and, and I talk to him, and I, in my most diplomatic way, I say, um, is there anything I can do to help? Can I, you know, remind him that the bills are coming or anything? And, and he, he, uh, he tells me that the winter was really expensive, and he was, he was the only person living there, so the bills got really expensive, and he got behind. I said, that's fine, I fully understand. Um, and we go on our merry way, and he gets the gas back on. And a week later, um, I go onto my computer, I go to go on the internet, and it's not working. I've had some issues with my internet. I'm sure it doesn't have anything to do with the explicit content that seems to find itself onto my screen. But um, it's not working very well. So I try, try, try. Finally, I figure out it's not me. And I call him, and he has this really confused answer, like he's not sure, but he's very... He knows that he didn't pay the bill, but he's still unsure why the cable's off. And so he, he does the same thing. He, he pays enough on his credit card to get the thing turned back on. And about a week later, uh, we get the electricity bill. And the electricity bill is months behind. And a week later, <laughs> we get the gas bill, which is coupled with um, a 10-day shut-off notice. So I, I go down and I write my half on the uh, I write my half uh, of the check on there, and I deliver it to him. And uh, shit. Um, and uh, he, I call him and I tell him the situation. And then he gets taken care of, and the water bill comes. The water bill is four hundred dollars. <laughs> How the fuck do you get a water bill of four hundred dollars? <laughs> so I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it, and um, it just kind of comes and goes. And um, I, it's it's a month to month, and there's no deposit, so I could leave any time I wanted, except that I just started this new job. I've been unemployed for a year and a half, so I had that three months probationary period. And being let you off, uh, you have kind of this insecurity about being employed. And so uh, I'm not going to find a place until they kind of made me a full employee. 
And, uh, and so now, whenever I come home, instead of going down that box on Ridge Avenue and, and looking forward to like that, that, uh, that wedding invitation from, from my friends and some shit, and, um, you know, or that letter from my parents, now I'm hoping for that junk mail, because that means that it's one less day uh, that I have to worry about my utilities being uh, shut off. So.